Next time you go outside, beware that you don't run into a man-eating plant! Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. I've never really seen a man-eating plant, although there are carnivorous plants that will eat animals like insects. These things that look like pods are actually the jaws of the Venus flytrap. On the inside, they're all red, which attracts insects to them. And when the insects step on it, it closes up and dissolves the insect and the juices inside. This is a Venus flytrap, and this is an insect. The Venus flytrap has jaws that when insects kind of land in them, they close on top of them, and then its digestive juices digest the insect, and it uses that to give itself food. The sundew has little sticky tentacles on its leaves, and when an insect walks onto it, it'll get all tangled up and stuck, and then the leaves kind of bend and close around it and digest it. The butterwort develops a very sticky substance on, it le on its leaves right here and works a lot like the sundew does. When insects walk onto it, they get stuck and the leaves will roll up and dissolve the insect. This is a butterwort or a sundew leaf. The pitcher plant has pitchers, like this one here, with a little lid on the top. And when an insect comes along, it'll smell some juices that are inside of the pitcher and be like, ooh, that smells really good. But when it tries to get in, it falls to the bottom and can't climb out again. The juices will dissolve the insect so that the plant can use its nutrients for itself. This is a pitcher plant. <laughs> The bladderwort has little bladders in the water underneath where it grows, and it uses those to suck up any little insects that may be swimming by. This is a bladderwort. It's amazing what all these plants can do!